Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see from the title, we are doing a restaurant build. Um, I wanted to do a restaurant build for a bit now on the channel. Uh, I done, I think I've done a cafe before but I haven't done a restaurant build so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, for the first little bit of the video, I think we're just doing the like exterior and I actually added a parking lot area um which i you can see me doing right now on screen um but yeah i just wanted to have like that little bit of realism even though obviously we don't have cars or anything um with like that parking lot kind of area um so that's what i put out here and the parking lot actually leads to this kind of like side door of the restaurant so it, it's kind of like you know when you go to restaurants and they have like that one side door at least some do where you can go and like pick up food like if you can order um food and like go and pick it up they have like a window area or like this like side door that you go in and then get at like a counter or something um yeah that's what i kind of was thinking uh when i was building this so they have a little parking lot area and then like a path that leads up to the side door of the restaurant where there's a like chef station with like the open window um that in my head, Sims can go and get like the food that they ordered to pick up. Um, obviously we can't do that in this game, but you know, it was just for like a little fun um, thing to have there. But yeah, um, I know it's been a hot minute since I last posted and 100%, to be 100% honest, it was because I was kind of going through it. <laughs> Um, a little bit uh, but now I'm feeling a little bit better so um, yeah I was able to get this done um, but yeah it's been a hot minute I hope you guys are doing well um, where you know at least where I am is like in the full swing of spring so it's feeling nice and warm and honestly really warm to be honest like literally yesterday it was like almost 30 degrees celsius um which is really hot for canada <laughs> so it was really warm yesterday but um yeah we've been having lots of rain sunny days you know how the weather is in spring so it's been nice it's been nice to see the sunlight after not seeing it for months on end um but yeah that's been nice um no real life updates it's just been kind of rough in some ways but just you know normal life stuff in other ways so I hope you guys are doing well um because it's been a while since we last talked <laughs> um but anyways uh you can see I'm doing like the exterior part of the build now um I was gonna I know like the lot is obviously bigger like I could have made the restaurant bigger but I feel like especially in this game restaurants are something you kind of don't want to mess with too much um in terms of like size and clutter and things like that just because you know it doesn't always work a uh, hundred percent in this game um yeah the dine out pack is in my personal opinion um a need pack like i need this pack in order to play the game like it feels I don't know it just doesn't feel right not being able to go to like restaurants and stuff with my sims um but it is a hard time it is a hard time to get them to uh do what you need them to do and the working sims to not be dropping your food every five seconds and you know take your order and all that stuff so um yeah I try to make this that's all to say <laughs> that I try to make this as clean and not complicated like uncomplicated not a lot of clutter i obviously like the outside i did that like parking lot area so like the inside is very it's not very small it's honestly pretty decently sized restaurant but it's i didn't use the whole lot space is what i'm trying to say because i didn't want to make your sims like sit somewhere and then the waiter has to run <laughs> like really far um on the lot just to get to where you're sitting so i tried to like make everything basically just concise and in a smaller area um for like ease of play um i did play test this and other than just regular dine out stuff it ran pretty like smoothly like i didn't have any issues with 
um, like my sims getting their food and stuff on time. Uh, so that's good because I know there's times when I've like built a restaurant and then they couldn't get through a door or my sims couldn't sit somewhere or like there's a piece of clutter in the way or whatever. So I did play test this to see if it would work and my sims got their food like on a pretty decent schedule. So I'm hoping that it works for you guys because I know it can differ between people's games um, like depending on what mods or CC or whatever you have. Um, but it did work for me. So hopefully... Um, it'll work for you guys as well. Uh, but yeah, I was having like a really hard time with the color scheme of this restaurant. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out uh, like what colors and stuff I want to go for. But I ended up just going for something super neutral. Um, it's obviously like a lot of black and like wood tones. So like the main colors of this build is like kind of like these medium, like rich wood tones and um black and then like a really dark blue um so yeah that's the kind of color scheme that ended up uh happening for this build i was gonna do like a like mostly white but then i just thought it looked kind of weirdly clinical so i decided not to go for that um and i tried to use as little cc as possible um i do use like a restaurant pack um that was made by tuds just because, I don't know, it's like nice. <laughs> it's a nice pack and I wanted to do a little something something. But I didn't want to go too um, hard or like intense with the CC. Just because, again, ease of play. Making sure things will run well. Because it's um, already finicky with like restaurants and stuff. So yeah, not a lot of clutter. Um, not very complicated. Just kind of simple uh, kind of vibes. But. I think it still worked out in the end. I um, like the way that it turned out. So hopefully you guys like it as well. But yeah, I don't know really what to talk about, to be honest. It's been um, pretty regular in my life. So <laughs> I don't know what to say, but um, I guess we can talk about actually, because it's kind of, you know, in the sphere of like simulation games and and the sims community obviously as a simulation game but everyone's kind of there's a lot of discourse right now um about different simulation games that are coming out um there's like a whole list of them at this point it, it kind of just happened i don't know like obviously some have been in development for a while like paralyzed has been in development for a while life by you has been in development for a while so i feel like people knew about those ones um, but now like Enzoi's another one coming out and then um, one of the sim gurus just left the sims franchise and they're going to try and make their own game like their own simulation game so now like that's happening so it just feels like there's a lot of simulation game like competitors coming on the market within the next couple years um, which is interesting uh, it's kind of weird that it took this long for competitors to kind of pop up because I feel like the Sims franchise has been like the life simulation game like there hasn't really been one similar to it um, unless you're talking about like I don't know sort of online spaces like Second Life or something um, but like not like a game like by itself like not connected to the internet or like multiplayer um, so that's kind of interesting so now we have like Enzoi, Life by You, Pair Lives, um, this new one that <laughs> the Sim Guru is going to make. And I think there's another one. What was the other one? Oh, and then I guess, you know, Project Renee, which is like The Sims 5. <laughs> uh, so there's like all these different um, life simulation games coming out. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it's good, obviously. Some nice healthy competition. Um, I don't have a lot of hopes for The Sims 5, which I've already talked about, um, in videos before, but, um, I think at this point, like, kind of seeing, because they're putting out, like, all these different companies are putting out different, like, videos, um, and, like, behind the scenes stuff of what they're doing for the games, and I think the one that I still think that I would be the most open to playing um, or I think that I would enjoy the most would probably be Paralives. Um, just because 
with Life by You, the character models are really rough. Like, more rough than I think they should be. It's... If you go on, like, a deep dive, like, I kind of went, like, on their Reddit space and, you know, I'm watching their videos and, like, going into YouTube comments and stuff like that. There's a lot of decisions that they're going to make and a lot of troublesome things that I've seen that I'm not... I don't just... I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I'm not too sure about that game, so... I don't think I'd end up playing it, to be honest. Um, but I don't know, maybe it'll be different in the future. Um, they actually just delayed their release because they were going to release in June, um, like early June, and they decided to delay it, which is probably a good idea because it doesn't look even close to being ready, even just for early access, which is what it was for in June, but like it just didn't look even close to ready. So I think that's probably a good decision on their part. Um, and I hope that they get, um, I don't know, like, you would have to get into, like, the lore of it all, but I don't know if I'm going to talk about that on this video. Um, but yeah, I just hope that they get the teammates that they need in order to make the game what I think they want it to be. Um, and then Inzoi is, it looks, like, amazing, like, visually, that looks stunning, um, but I did hear that um, a YouTuber who was like was given the copy of the game in order to like review it and kind of get you know publicity and stuff for it. Um, they were like sent a PC in order to play it by the company. So that makes me feel like it's like not gonna be playable um, on most computers because if they had to like literally send somebody a PC, then like there's no shot <laughs> like i don't know that just doesn't seem like it's gonna be very um pc friendly even if it's like you know like high-end pcs or like gaming pcs um i i think that's i don't know if they have to send you one that's kind of concerning <laughs> uh i don't know what kind of specs you're gonna need to run it um so even though it looks visually really good i don't know how that's gonna you know run um, or people, most people are going to be able to run it, but, uh, yeah, I guess they'd have to like optimize it. And then there's also been things I don't really, I'm not familiar with the company that makes Enzoi. Um, but other people who have played their other games or are familiar with the company has said that they've done a lot of like micro transaction stuff, which we're not unfamiliar with in the Sims franchise. But, um, that kind of makes me think that it's also not going to be that great. Like kind of like what I've seen so far is like they want to make a marketplace type vibe for like people to make things like custom content and stuff for the game um but it's like a marketplace so that already kind of makes me not <laughs> want to play it to be honest with you um i think everyone's just kind of sick and tired of shoveling out money <laughs> in that way in bits and pieces like that because we do it for games and we do it for like um like subscriptions for stuff and like streaming subscriptions is insane now because like you want to watch something but it's on this subscription but then you want to watch this movie and it's on this whole other thing like it's just getting so annoying to be honest and expensive and i don't think people are really wanting to do that anymore um so that kind of sucks if it, they made it like that but it looks like that's what they're doing um and some stuff that life by you has said about their game with modding also sounds terrible so i just kind of don't have hopes for that i'm not saying that you would have to like obviously use those things or buy those things or whatever if you play those games because you could just play it vanilla um but it's always nice to have like the option and if like you don't have the option you get sick and tired of what you have in the game already and you see all this cool stuff but it's like I don't know, $11 for like a hair that you like or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, um, so that kind of sucks. I think that's probably like mostly the reason why I wouldn't, I'm not gravitating towards those games. I don't know if they're going to change those kinds of models or ideas or whatever in the future. But as of right now, that's what it's looking like. And I think that's why I'm probably not going to end up, um, playing them. Um, so yeah, right now, for me at least, um, personally, I think that Paralyzed looks the most um, like pro promising in terms of 
like you know modding the game it seems it's going to be pretty easy to do um because they're making it i think through the steam workshop or something people said that works pretty well so um i don't know their stance yet um on like the monetization of mods or what they're doing with that um so we'll have to see what what that <laughs> does in the future um i'm it's like a whole thing obviously in the sims community too like with modding and um monetization of mods or paywalling and all this stuff in the culture of it's gotten really terrible um and i know people who play in different communities like gaming communities and The Sims is, like, one of the only ones that will, like, like, not, like, there are other modding communities where you, like, pay for certain mods or whatever, but it's not, it's kind of, like, a frowned upon thing, like, it's not something that a lot of people do, so it's interesting that The Sims community is really, <laughs> um, very liberal with being, like, oh, we're just gonna paywall this for, like, eight months or two years or something and it's just gotten crazy um so i don't know that's kind of like a concern for me when it comes to other simulation games um because like i said we're all being kind of squeezed by everything else in life being subscription based um that it just feels like a lot of money to be shoveling out all the time um or at least on like some somewhat of a consistent basis so i don't know um but Paraly I don't know if Paralyze is going to do that. I just know that they wanted to do modding um, through like the Steam Workshop, which I don't think... I'm not sure. I haven't like looked that far deep into it. Um, if it's like really monetized, like if you want this piece of something, you have to pay this money or something. I don't know how it works, but I hope that it's not... <laughs> I hope that it isn't terrible and I hope that they put... You know, whatever they decide, even if they say, like, people can make money off of mods or whatever, that's fine. It's just perma paywalling it forever and ever or something or making it. I think it just creates this weird thing in communities when it's like that. But that's my own opinion. So I, you know, I feel like this sometimes is like a sensitive topic. Yeah, um, I don't mind CC people. Um, you know making money off their mods or being like hey like after two or three weeks like it'll be free so they have like you know incentive for people to go and like get their stuff i think that's fine um but i think it's a if it's like perma paywalled forever i think it just feels i don't know just kind of gives me the ick i guess <laughs> um but that seems to be a common feeling within um the community and in, in the sims community but anyways um moving on from that um yeah there's just been a lot of competition um for simulation games which is good i think obviously the sims franchise needs it i think we all need different options really just to you know explore different avenues of simulation games see what people can come up with um and yeah uh, what are you guys thinking about this, you know, recent influx of, um, simulation games? Like, is there one that you really like? Is there one where you're kind of, like, split between? Where you really like the art style of the game, but you don't like what the gameplay is going to look like? Or is it, you know, you like all of them, you're going to try out every single one? Or you're just going to stick with The Sims? Um, I think that would be interesting to know so let me know how you guys feel about it like what games you're seeing that are going to be coming out that you're interested in and which ones you're not interested in and why um because like i was saying with inzoi like it looks really beautiful but from what i've seen of like the gameplay it doesn't look like it's going to be that in depth um just from like what they've put out for um like youtubers and stuff to review um yeah i don't know it just doesn't look like that in depth and then life by you looks in depth but like it visually looks kind of dated even though we're in 2024 just like the graphics and the way the people like the characters look in it um and the character structure there's just like a lot of issues um with it so i don't know there's like different reasons why i'd be interested in them but then they kind of fall short in other areas that kind of i don't know makes me not want to play it <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. So I actually want to say too that this, uh, you already have seen it because I've just been rambling on, but uh, this restaurant actually does have a outside eating area um, when we get to it. And I put a lot of seating out there because I realized on the inside, like obviously your sims can use the booths and stuff, uh, but there's not like seating for more people than like four sims. Because I'm pretty sure the booths even though it looks like you should have more sims, I'm pretty sure that only four can sit at the booths uh, on like both sides, obviously. Um, I, so I think it's like a four seater, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, so I put like tables outside the little like outdoor eating area uh, that has like six to eight people. So if you had more sims that you wanted to come eat here, um, then they could go and sit out the back and they have like the lamp heater things um, That will help keep them warm if it's like colder out at night or whenever you went and sent them to eat uh, Yeah, also something that kind of really bothers me <laughs> about um, The booths in this game is that you can't put it like against a wall because if you put it against the wall your sims can't get like on the other side. Like they can't, like they can, I've tested it before. They can scoot, like how they can do it in bed and stuff. Like they can scoot over into the booth, but like it won't, if you just have it like against a wall and you have like three sims or something, like they'll act like they can't get in because the other sim would have to scoot. I don't know why that it works like that. I don't know if it's just my game that does that because I know sometimes people's um, like the way things function for people's games is different uh, but for mine it does that and that's really annoying <laughs> I hate that so I had to make it so that you could walk around the booths and there's like just enough walking space on like the window side so that they would be able to go and like sit there if you had like four a group of four people um, so yeah, that's kind of like annoying and I hate that that's how it works. I just want it, especially when I do like cozy little diners, I want it to be like against the, like flush against the wall, but it just doesn't work for me that way. And I don't know if it's just me. Um, so let me know, like do your, if you have like a group of four and the booths are against the wall, like can your Sims just like scoot in or does it just, do they like complain that they can't route to the seat? Because mine do that and it's, really annoying I don't know why they did that with booths um but yeah something else that I've been kind of doing um when I'm not like building for the channel obviously um is I've gotten like <laughs> really into making um like Brindleton Bay up like I had to say I've had like literally like I said that's super weird I said that really weird <laughs> I've had like literally um I think like three save files that I've worked on which is really stupid and it's because I have a perfectionism problem um and nothing ever looks the way that I think about it in my head um so I've kind of like just got a blank save file and then I've just been like building in Brindleton Bay and I've been kind of addicted to it, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> I've just been... But it's not even, like, with the building. Like, I've only done, I think, three or four builds in it so far. But I've just been, like, making up backstories and, like, sims and stuff like that. And it's been super fun. Um, like, I'll just be on my phone in, like, the notes app. And I'll just be, like, writing all this, like, backstory for different sims um, that live there. I don't know what's going on. I don't know... Maybe it's like fulfilling this weird creative writing hole that's been in me <laughs> since high school. Um, Cause I used to like write a lot when I was younger and I don't really do it anymore um, because I just thought everything I wrote was terrible. <laughs> Again, perfectionism issues. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that's been something that kind of took the back burner, but 
I don't know. It's just been really fun writing all these little backstories. So that's something fun I've been doing. Um, yeah, it's been that. And then just playing like my legacy save pretty much, um, which is also fun. Um, but yeah, we're getting to, as you can see, I'm doing like the outside, like eating area back here. And there's, like I said, there's more tables with like more seating. So you can have like six to eight Sims come back here. And then I also put like two tables that have two chairs for like a date, a cute little date night on the balcony area or like, I don't know, porch area. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> And I hope that you guys enjoy this. The download link will be in the folder below with uh, the mods linked or like the CC. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.